Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. In today's episode we are actually gonna work on a bit of expansion and uh, by expansion I mean the walls. So it looks pretty nice and cozy here but I started feeling um, when I was preparing for this episode as well and having a look around here it just doesn't feel like there's a lot of space inside. Uh, it, it feels really claustrophobic and uh, even when I was building this uh, this house over here, it just showed us that there isn't too much space. So what I've kind of done here, I've started planning out where these clay brick uh, walls will be will be situated at. And I was thinking also, how wide should we go? Should we do another um, set of distance of, of four, four tiles? But I decided to go with a little bit, little bit wider option. I just like to put some more um, taller buildings inside as well, just to give it a bit more of a of a castle feel, because the walls, at least for this playthrough, shouldn't be the highest building that's inside here in within the castle walls. I be, uh, I mean, and now a couple of other things with the moat. I just like to clarify in here that um, this isn't mainly to direct the um, the readers. Yes, it is right now because we're still planning this area out and to be honest i'd prefer if they just don't bypass all our defenses and walk right in into into everything i mean we could probably still deal with them and that's that's not a huge problem all we need is just a couple of doors in here and that would be solved but i was just thinking um well yeah that's the that's actually the kind of the main reason i suppose but uh also i think overall right now everything is very smooth when it comes to this game running it doesn't feel like there's any stutter or anything even on three times speed it's it's fairly good so i think overall as well uh, around this map at some point i will would like to think about some sort of options when it comes to reducing the pathfinding for the for the AI, but we'll uh, we'll figure it out once we once we get there. Now let's have a quick look inside the castle as well. If we can go down a few levels, all right. So I'll slow it down a little bit. It seems they don't really want to mine those two bits out here for some reason. We'll give them a little bit more time, but that's okay. Yeah, okay. We'll fix this missing flooring up here as well and I've already added a couple of more additional torches on the on the walls because everything else seems to be almost done the levels are looking pretty good now when it comes to research over here let's just have a few more uh, few more walls down here not walls floors and I'd like to if we take a quick look at the research do we have enough points for the third one no we don't okay we are gonna need some basic research so let's do until we have uh, let's just do an X amount of maybe like 50 should be should be enough. And since we do have the space in here, how about we put down a few more? Let's slow it down a little bit. Just over here, a few more bookshelves. Actually. Yeah, let's do what's wrong. Okay, here we go. Alright, so another floor that's missing here let's put you back in there and as soon as we have enough books how many more are you doing here right now 18 okay well we'll leave you to it uh when it comes to the flooring which one were we using in here okay so we'll place you down like so for the time being and once we got those tables then we'll we'll see how we need to change this Okay, so that's going to be a bit of an upgrade to the uh, library section here. When we go down another level... Oh, was it up? Oh yeah, this one's all good. Are you... Yes, you are a workshop. Okay, so that's great. And now that the floors are done, has this collapsed yet? No. Okay, I think I know why. It is time to remove these links in here and hopefully we can uh, bring it all down. The last chunk... Oh, actually, there's two levels in here. Well, that's all right. We'll hopefully take it take it down in no time. And who's mining away? Drake. Okay. Oh, there's a bit of gold in there. Oh, that's nice. We'll definitely have to go and check this out as well. I believe there's a couple of veins over here as well. Yep, we can surely do that. And then we could maybe make some golden, I don't know, some swords or or some sort of weapons as well with that later on. It is another evening, but at least we do have those walls up, so that's uh, that is great. 
Now that means we can start putting in the rest of these other walls. There's a lot of walls going everywhere. Quick auto save and let's drop you there. Actually, this is going too far. And one across about there. It's not blocking the doors, is it? No, that is actually fine. A few more brick ones here. And then we'll have to measure out the distance. Uh, Yeah, I noticed the mistake here. That isn't going to be... Or is it? Oh yeah, we, we can leave this bit here. We're just going to widen it. Yep, that's fine. Once we get those walls down as well... Let me just check. There's no access. Uh, they can still bypass this. That's okay. Once we do have them up though, and this, um, this section here finished as well, we may have to... I'm hoping we don't have to, but we may have to move this uh, smithy or the, or the workshop here and figure out the inner design once again. But I really want to, I, and I cannot wait to get rid of this construction warehouse thing in the middle there. Uh, let's have a quick look downstairs as well. Oh, okay, so it is starting to come down now. Drake again. What a trooper. He's helping us out. I uh, hope you're not walking on top. Oh, he was walking on top. It's a very easy way to get yourself stuck on this wall. But at least the middle bit now is finished. Let me just slow it down a tiny bit. And we can carry on with these sections as well. Actually, that was going to be a walkway here, wasn't it? I believe it was. So how about we change this up just a tiny bit? Yeah, it seems our bottom levels have not received as much love as we as we wanted to, perhaps. But nothing to worry about. Everything in time. And we'll slowly floor this section up as well. And that actually, you're pretty much good to go. Most of this should be. So we could do the same. Remove these bits. Do you know what? Wait with those corners. Because we would like to uh, just fix these pillars up and the support beams as well. Okay, we'll leave you guys be for the for the time being. Oh, okay, so that is done. Are we able to get any other research now? Nope, that is still on 30. And let me guess, that's probably because you're doing this one. Okay. Oh, actually, no. Potato is now doing the lower research, but it just seems we... How many more do we need? It doesn't tell us, of course, yeah. Okay, not a problem. And yeah, okay, at least all the bodies are now burned from the last raid we had as well. Last successful raid, should I say. It was a very strong uh, victory. It, it really was about time we actually have some people still able to stand after, after a big battle. And okay, so we'll carry on putting uh, at least a blueprint down I think um, yeah really want to get this wall done in today's episode all right we now do have a bit of a blueprint in these walls are brought out just uh, just a tiny bit and what I've decided to do as well is to change up the entrance a little bit uh, it was mentioned in the comments that uh, the current design with our doors Although it's, uh, you know, it's it's interesting. The problem we're always going to face is that um, the enemies that are attacking our walls will be hidden inside this little uh, opening there and our archers will never be able to target them. And it's a couple of ways how we could go about it. Uh, we could bring out some, uh, some towers a little bit uh, out of the wall, which I think will be interesting to do as well. Uh, another thing that was mentioned was to change those doors. Uh, for what are these ones called? The graded doors. And that's definitely something I'd love to do. Either for the inner or outer layer of doors. But for, for now, I'd like to just bring the door actually out a little bit. And leave this uh, open space. If we go here a little bit. We've got quite a few tiles now. And I'm hoping to leave uh, this floor open in here. So that way we could shoot down if we must but I think once they get into our inner doors, I think that's the time when we are going to have to rely on our melee army as well. And what I was thinking is changing some of those people. I know at the start I wanted to have most of them as archers or crossbowmen. 
But I started thinking that, hey, if everyone's ranged, then we'll never get proper attacks because we're, we're at some point we're just going to be able to pick them off um, even before they reach our city's defenses. So, and that's that's no fun. So, we'll definitely have to spice it up a little bit and um, perhaps uh, a slightly larger melee force would be a, would be a better option to keep things relatively competitive still. But all right, right now, uh, let's see. They are going to remove quite a few of those different plants that are in the way. But I'm really, I'm also hoping that they'll start putting down those floors and and the walls right away as well. Even though if we, if we can't do both sides in today's episode, at least we'll get one of those sides done and expand it just a, just a little bit. The doors, we do have a slight issue here. It's just empty. So how about we fill this area up a little bit and then we'll start bringing the roads out as well. Now the next question that we'll probably have is do we want this road to go straight through the mountain? Let's try this again. Straight through the mountain here or should we just curve around? I was just thinking it's maybe it's a little bit weird how this one of the main gates in, is facing a hill and it's not a proper clearance but at the same time I guess it's fine. We could just go around through here and and uh, yeah, build different paths that lead to off the off the map as well. Okay, so whilst they're doing everything upstairs, let's have a quick look downstairs as well. I really hope we have enough points now. Yes, we do. So let's unlock the last level of research as well. And where is that bench now? Let's take a look. Advanced. Ooh, that is. That's not gonna fit here, is it? Um. Well. I mean, we could always place it there. Quick auto save and let's uh, let's take a look. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little little big, but do you know what? Let's put this here for now, and we'll see if we can also remove a couple of those floors and replace them with the actual road bits. And now that I say it, I should probably do it with this these roads as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. And uh, when it comes to the books and bookshelves, I mean, we could probably put in a few more in here. And I don't think we need too many. Oh, this table, I don't think we need it anymore. Because we do have another, another one downstairs now, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, so we can probably... What's in here... Uh, warfare stockpile. It's okay. It's not in our way right now, so I guess we'll we'll take care of it later. Okay, going to the lower levels. Have we finally removed? Yes, we have. So we can put in a few. Oh, let's try it again. One in there, one in there, and I'm very happy. Nothing. Uh, do you know what? That's not what we wanted to do. Let's try this again. And one of those pillars right over there. And now let's remove this section as well so we can connect them up and one more from from there okay cool so the floors are starting to come along quite nicely there's just quite a quite a few more sections that we have to remove from here and to replace it with actual proper proper walls but after these ones oh we still have another do you know what let's uh, clear everything and we'll back you down Okay, that should be good. Quick look upstairs again. How far are you guys now? Polly and Kuist seem to be pretty busy constructing away, but things are looking rather, rather nice. All we gotta do is add a few more, more of those Merlons. One layer there, and one here. Now this is gonna be interesting to figure out. Oh, a new settler. We haven't had this event for. For quite some time, so uh, not helm. What are you bringing us? Mining and smithing. Ooh, melee is twenty. Well, well, you look at that. Just talked about having some more melee people, so we'll definitely help you out. And I hope it's kind of gonna be a raid. I mean, I sort of hope, but at the same time, I also hope it's not gonna be a raid because we've just started 
constructing our wall. Anyways, let's have a look over here. That should be the settler number 13, isn't it? So, definitely into these two. And then you could probably help out with research as well. Although, let's see, smithing is 10, but we got one smith already, 29. You could probably help out with that. And let's do... All of these need to be one, for sure, so that way we can keep our kingdom tidy. And you don't need to do any tailoring. Oh, that was tailored. That was carpentry. And constructing... Mm, the rest, I guess we can leave it. Cooking... You know what, let's bring these ones to four. And yeah, I think we're quite happy with how things are now. And when we go to the management tab, let's have a look. We shall give you, let's take this forced one off. We'll give you, just like everyone else, armor. I'll have to sort out armor as well, because at some point we'd like to do the melee state. Get slightly better armor compared to our archers. But uh, yeah, let's give you a good helmet. And maybe no shields. And something that's two-handed. Yeah, let's do that. I hope we have... Oh, we don't have enough beds. Uh, yikes, do we have enough rooms at least? No. How is that possible? Well, that's a little awkward. I mean, welcome aboard. But we don't quite have a room for you. I mean, what can I say? It's been a busy, busy few days. Now, if everyone could... Please help out a little bit. Let's take a look. Are we sure there's no rooms? Okay, yeah. We might be right. These are all, all, all taken. I guess he's just gonna have to sleep on the floor tonight. And then hopefully um, we'll have a bit for him tomorrow. Because it's almost, yeah, it's almost evening and there is just all sorts of construction tasks in the queue right now. Okay, well, I'll get back to it after everyone's hopefully woken up and and we'll see what this uh, search party means to us as well. And they have arrived, so let's see what's gonna happen. We are gonna refuse. Oh, okay, so no raid. I guess uh, maybe it's a good thing that there is no raid because, yeah, our walls are not quite ready. I'm sure we could still still take them. But it probably would be uh, would be nice if we were a little bit more prepared. Now we we are getting those this bedroom in here as well slowly, slowly but surely. So that's great. Hopefully, no one has to sleep on the floor tomorrow or to tonight. And all we need now is just a couple of floors and well, probably a bed as well. As soon as we get that final piece mined out. From, from that corner and then Paul is helping helping us out finishing up on the on the walls and the floors and thank you very much Drake oh uh, I dear I don't think we have enough uh Polly can you please do the bed hopefully we get this done before before it's too late uh, is anyone helping out as well okay bringing the construction materials in and I think we should be done. Where is Polly? Oh, he's already running there. Okay, that that's great. I think last night uh, the final bed was taken, so the good-looking gamer had to sleep on the floor. But it seems tonight we have an extra bed, so that's that's good. Everyone gets to sleep in a in its own bed, so everything is good. And we do have a raid on our hands, so let's take a look what's happening in here. Uh, interesting. We got a couple of bows. Three, four, three long, uh, sorry, one long one, three short ones, and one... Oh. Uh, right behind us, one uh, was a crossbow. So let's see, it's not quite evening. Which way are they gonna go? Most likely this way. Alright, let's speed it up a little bit and let's see which way are they gonna run. Okay. Um, yeah, our walls are not quite ready yet. They are starting to look much better. That for sure. But I guess we could try and position ourselves on top of this one. Um, right, let's get everybody ready. 
Got one, two. And these are our melee ones. Okay, so you guys are going to come up here. And with the archers, let's select everybody as well. We'll draft you and we'll bring you on top of this warehouse right now. I think we can spread them out a little bit, but they're quite exposed there, to be honest. Uh, let's see, the raiding party is starting to make their way down. Let's quickly check the pathfinding. Yep, they are gonna come and try and destroy these pyres over there, which is okay. Uh, what are you guys doing? I said, get up there. Ah, uh, some people. Drake and Potato, get over there. Okay, who's missing? Doesn't look like we've got a lot of melees here. Katarina, Greg, are you here? Yes, you are. Tim R. Okay, you're here as well. Sanchit, you gone missing. Here we go. Pixie, Pixie is ready. And here they, uh, here they come. So let's position ourselves. Do you know what? Maybe we'll... Hmm. How many of you? Few. Your range is quite good. So how about... Actually, yeah, let's make it a little bit more interesting this time. Let's bring everybody somewhere... Somewhere here. Who's this? Sanchit. Okay. It, did I just hear someone working? Who is this? Kuist. Okay. You're gonna have to come and join us for a bit of fun as well. And everyone should be drafted now, right? Yep. Uh, Drake, I'm sorry, buddy. You're gonna position yourself over there. Let's bring the melee back a little bit. Wait. Oh, interesting. Uh, so he's already shooting at us. Uh, do you know what? Abort mission. Change of plan. Couple of archers are gonna go up there. Didn't realize they're gonna change their mission so quickly. And, um... <laughs> Let's have a few... Few melees. Let's see who else can we... Tim, how about you? You position yourself over there. And let's take a look. Oh, these are archers. Ah, uh, great. How about Koist? Can you not shoot him? Uh, Drake, if you could please lend us a hand. And what is happening here? Who are you guys shooting? Can we please shoot the door people? Oh, things are starting to get spicy. I think, yeah. Sanchit, are you just kind of watching? Okay, there we go. Now, please come and... Let's say hello to these guys. Archers. Probably need to deal with you guys. You're not doing anything, okay? And I have a feeling you're not doing anything up there as well. Uh, let's see. Can we... Hmm, there's a couple of them there. Greg is a little injured, but I think we should be fine. Katarina. Go that way. Oh, that's a crossbow. Yikes. Okay, crossbow needs to go. Pretty much straight away. Pixie. Why are you not? Uh, let's see. On that one. And I think it's about time you get in, in the fun as well. Doesn't feel like we have all the archers here. Yeah, our colony should be a lot bigger. Where is... Let's see. Got a couple up there. Okay, how about you guys get over here? Drake, where's Drake? Drake is up there. Okay. So, yeah, we should be fine. Mothle... Uh, who's that? Nothle. Nothelm. There we go. Can you please go and help out as well? Victory. Okay, so that's great. Can we... Just mop this up uh, as quick as we can. And that's uh, that's everyone. Okay. Lost a few hit points here and there, but overall things are pretty good. Is everyone... Yep, it is time to sleep and lick our wounds. Because we are done with the last raid. And actually, I think that's probably a good time to end this episode as well. We've still got a couple of walls to 
walls to go and then we need to tear down the the inner ones but overall that's quite a quite a nice progress over here and that should give us a lot more a lot more space as well with uh, with things to build indoors but all right thank you very much for joining in this episode and hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one <laughs>